welcome to another episode of Mice Chatter. As of last week, Thunder Mountain is officially open to the public. Be warned, I'm about to post pictures of the really cool new special effects. Skip ahead like 10 seconds if you don't want to see them. Club 33 construction is still going on, uh, but there was a little bit of news in the form of a new logo that might be happening. Club Members apparently got this letter that has a horrendous logo. Looks like it was made in like late 90s for Zoog Disney. Not thrilled about it. What do you guys think? Spring has sprung at the Disneyland Resort. There's flowers literally everywhere. If you're into that kind of thing, that's cool. Who doesn't like flowers? I don't know, man. I don't know. It was previously a rumor, but now it is confirmed that Astro Orbiter is going away in favor of a new Star Wars looking entrance for Tomorrowland. I'm hoping to be able to go on the Astro Orbiter one last time. It's not something I usually do ever, but if you're like me and you want to say goodbye to this Disneyland classic, get on it soon. The It's Tough to Be a Bug Theater is going to be hosting an extended preview for the Maleficent movie soon, so there will be no It's Tough to Be a Bug showing to the dismay of uh, nobody. The last bit of news that I have is not actually Disney Parks news, but it's very relevant to Disney and to YouTube. Today, it was announced that Disney bought Maker, which is one of the biggest and oldest multi-channel YouTube networks. So that's kind of interesting. It's a new platform that Disney, I don't think, has any had any control over until now, and I think this is like their first experimentation with YouTube other than their own YouTube channel. That is all the news I have for you this week, but I'll see you next week with more Disney and Disney Parks news. Peace.